Hi guys, it's Katie, and today I'll be showing you guys my favorite lip products of all time. They're all over the spectrum, from pink to red, from everything in between, and I'm going to be showing you guys that today. And I am wearing quite the ensemble on my head currently. I actually have hot rollers in because I just felt like it. I'm not really doing much today, and I thought, why not? So I'm using my new hot roller set, which is the Babyless, Babyless, I don't know how to pronounce that, Babyless Pro Ceramic and Ionic little set. It's behind me right here. I was just doing that this morning. I got that kit from flatironexperts.com. If you guys are curious, I'll put the link in the description box, but hopefully this will work out. But anyway, completely off topic. I'll be talking about my favorite lip products today because I was like mid curling my hair and I was thinking about what video I should film today and then bingo just pops in my brain. Let's do a lipstick video. So here I am. You guys have probably seen a lot of these before, but if you're new to my channel, this might be a fun little surprise for you. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm gonna get into it now so anyway without further ado my uh, just bitten kissable balm stains I have four of them to show you guys right now I have more but I decided these ones were the best to show you two that I have been in love with for quite some time now are the shades smitten and crush and I guess I'll swatch them for you guys I don't know is that like a guru thing to do this one right here is in crush it's more of like a dark berry shade. That one's good for like, if you're looking for a more dark look. And then Smitten, which is um, number 030. A little bit darker than Bubblegum, but more the bubblegummy side of the color spectrum. And I love both of those. They're so different, but so great for different looks. And then also are my newer ones. Still have not taken all the packaging off of this one because I'm lazy. This one's in the shade 055 Adore. Talked about this in my recent haul. Um, this one's a little bit more sheer. It's almost like orange tinted. Um, doesn't really look like it in the tube as you guys can see but it's kind of like a different more of earthy colored like dark I don't know how to describe this. Then last but not least, the color that I'm wearing currently, which is in 025 Sweetheart Valentine. Just picked this up from Walgreens the other day. This one is very similar to um, Smitten, but it's a little bit more bubblegummy, and it's on my lips right now, or there's a swatch right there. So these are the four um, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains that I love, and you guys can pick these up from Walgreens, Target, you know, those sort of places, even online. I'm sure they have them all over the place. They are a little bit hard to get off. Bradley learned that in the makeup challenge video we did. Um, it took me forever to get it off of his face because Jillian went a little overboard so we had to soak his face with like um, olive oil and like basically gave him a massage to get this off of his face because it took forever. So be careful about where you apply it. Moving along I have two of the Color Whisper lipsticks from Maybelline and these two I actually hauled the other day so I feel like I might not have as much credibility to talk about these but I absolutely love them. The times that I've worn them I've gotten so many compliments and I I'm just so so happy about this. They have a lot more colors so I'm gonna have to go back but um, these are the two that I picked up from my last haul and it's in 50 cherry on top and 45 who wore it redder. These are kind of sheer actually. Um, they're not as dark as they look. So one of them is more red and one of them is more pink because I'm very into the reds and the pinks. So um, this one is who wore it redder and this one is cherry on top if you guys can see. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see that. I love both of these. These are also about $8 each. They're kind of like a balm and a chapstick and a lipstick all in one because they're very moisturizing, but they also have a lot of color payoff and they kind of look like lipsticks without actually being as thick as a lipstick, if you know what I mean. So before I forget, I want to talk about my favorite um, sort of chapstick thing that isn't quite a chapstick. It's actually a lip smacker. As you guys can see, it looks kind of like really old and disgusting because I've had it forever and I just put it in my purse and I keep it with me at all times. It's in the Dr. Pepper flavor and and it looks kind of red in the tube and it actually comes out a little bit of a sheer color payoff so it's like a chapstick but it also has a little bit of red to it it kind of gives a little bit of color to your lips and it smells like Dr. Pepper and I love the smell of Dr. Pepper. I don't like the taste, I like the smell. Is that weird? And this is probably like a couple dollars, maybe like two or three dollars from the drugstore. So next I'm gonna move on to three high-end products that I like, uh, just in case you guys are more into the high-end brands. Um, if you guys like the more balm stain concept, definitely check out the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint because it's very similar to that, but it is a lot more expensive. So I'm not sure why you would go for this if you could go for that. I bought this particular product before I found out about the drugstore version, so I'm kind of happy that I found out because I probably would have gotten all the colors, which are very, very similar to that. So they're kind of like dupes, I guess. This one's in the shade Lively, and it's actually really pretty. I've worn it in videos in the past. Um, I'm gonna swatch it. It's a lot darker, a lot thicker. It'll probably last longer than those ones, but 
um, it's this shade right here, very dark and kind of berry-like, maybe a little bit red. It's a very interesting type of shade. I actually really like it, um, but it is more expensive if you guys are into that sort of thing. I actually got this in my 500 point perk from Sephora. Then finally, I want to close with two of my favorite lipsticks from Lime Crime because you guys know I love my Lime Crime lipsticks and I'm actually looking into buying a third one on Urban Outfitters because they have a lot of the shades on Urban Outfitters. And I do want to note that these are vegan lipsticks, so they're not tested on animals if that's something that concerns you, which is great and uh, the packaging is adorable. Psychedelic unicorn on the front as I said in my last video. Um, but anyway, this one's in the shade Centrifuge and I got this one at IMATS last year, but my guy friends thought it'd be so fun to play with my lipstick and completely destroyed it. Like it's basically squished in there, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one. It's kind of ruined. Um, but anyway, I love this lipstick and I wore it in one of my past videos and I also wore it while I was at IMATS last year. So anyway, I really love this shade and as I said, the packaging is beautiful. And then also the second one I like, this is in the shade Glamour or 101 and it's just this really pretty like dark red color. I'll swatch this one because I know this one isn't broken. It's more of a brick red color. It's right there. Um, and I actually really enjoy this color. It's really nice and very like sophisticated and it makes me feel very like cool and like old when I wear it. Or not like old but like mature. Um, so I really love this shade. It's very cool. Love Lime Crime lipsticks. Check them out. They're very moisturizing. Not so thick and like like sticky. They have a little bit of an added gloss to them which I love. It makes my lips look very kissable per se um, and I really love these lipsticks so definitely check them out on Urban Outfitters or wherever else Lime Crime is sold. And that concludes my favorite lip products video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!